In today's tutorial, we are going to be making billowed cupcakes. Here is the list of all the materials that you will need to make these beautiful cupcakes. We are going to start by rolling out some fondant to a thin layer. If your fondant is dry, hydrate it with a small amount of vegetable shortening. Powder the surface when you are rolling out your fondant to avoid fondant from sticking. I'm using a cutting mat to acquire precise measurements. You may use a ruler if you don't have a cutting mat. Our rectangles will measure one by one and a half inch and I'm going to be cutting nine to 12 of them. Be sure to stretch out the fondant to a thin layer. You do not want a thick layer of fondant. You do not want a, the fondant to be thick because then it's going to be harder to make the billows. So your fondant should be thin and soft. Try cutting all the rectangles the same size. So now that all my rectangles are cut, the same size, all of them, I'm going to make a pleat on either end of each rectangle. I'm going to take the foam that I'm going to bring it back and then forward and then back again uh, on both sides of each end. You do one side and you do one side, then you do the other side that will make for one end then you turn it around and you do the same thing with the other end when you do the the back and forth motion on both ends you join it you pinch it and that'll be a pleat then you turn it around and you do the same thing on the other end if your fondant gets dry Again, use vegetable shortening to soften it and to hydrate it. Now I'm just cutting the end where I pinch the pleat. I'm cutting that excess off from um, the, the puffs, the billows. I'm just cutting in some of them, not in all of them, because I want them to fit perfectly on my cupcake. And now it's time to arrange all of my puffs. I'm going to make my first row, then I'm going to stagger the rest of them. Please watch.
This is a very simple decoration and it will look nice as long as you stagger all those puffs. You cannot make them in a, in a row. You have to stagger them. So that way they look puffy. They look like they are a piece of fabric puffed up. The next thing to do is remove the excess using a blade or a cutter. Very carefully just remove the excess. Then uh, place sugar pearls uh, wherever the joints are, wherever two billows are joined together. You put a pearl there and that's it. See how easy that was? And don't forget to use edible glue to glue your uh, pearls you need to put edible glue first on top of the fondant and then you stick your pearl Our cupcake is finished and now we are going to dress it up placing a small badge on the cupcake and that's it. You may use uh, a badge for different occasions, Mother's Day, Father's Day, perhaps a bridal shower or a baby shower, whatever the occasion might be. And now I'd like to invite you to continue watching and see the rest of the cupcakes that I've made. This has been all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time in another tutorial similar to this one. Until then, God bless.